Welcome back to our channel, Best Freaking Friends Forever. So thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for subscribing or commenting down below. If you haven't, do so please. So today we're going to continue with our Bridgerton episodes where we're talking about season one, episode four. And this episode is called An Affair of Honor. It begins with Daphne attending or she's going to the palace and she sees the prince. Again, and the queen brings him and says, give her her gift. So, which is yeah. a necklace. She's just like, I think that's why I like the queen so much. Because she's like, come on, make haste. Let's go. Like, that's <laughs> kind of how I am. Like, get to the point. Give her the, you know, you want to see her reaction. And it is a very beautiful necklace. Oh, I saw a thing last night on Google that said, um, earring, ear, ear balls from that era. Like, that style is, like, making a big comeback right now. Hmm. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you say that. I do them. like all. Yeah, like I do like all the da- the jewelry that or the earrings that Daphne wears. Like I could easily mm-hmm. see myself. Yeah, I like them. But I think Daphne kind of freaks out when he puts it on her because again, yeah. we said in the la- that she kind of sees she feels Simon putting it on her or sees and she turns around and it's the prince and she's kind of gives this look and he's like, "Are you okay?" And she's like, "I'm more than okay." And this necklace is beautiful. You know, she comments and that comments on the necklace and how pretty it is and all that so i mean here again she's kind of daydreaming about simon or wanting it i feel like that's the subtle way of saying that that she wants it to be simon but then we get another little side i guess courting or you know promenading or whatever with mr finch calling on philippa featherington we see that and we see marina being kind of pushed off on Lord Rutledge, who she doesn't like at all. He's older. He doesn't want her for love. He just kind of, I mean, he pretty much says that's not all a woman's for, like, you know, basically to have, you know, things like that. So that's, so we get to see that too. We get to see another, well, short-lived, as we'll find out. Colin comes, call and kind of starts showing more interest then you know that we start to get to see him stepping up, up more marina because he does he really likes her he made the point like he it's not even in his at his age it's not really time time for him to go find a wife mm-hmm. i mean he's still a little on the young side for that um but you know if a girl catches your eye i guess she catches it so but we do get to see him kind of step up and well and marina and Penelope talk about it, and Penelope Penelope gets gets upset. Yep. Well, because she, but I don't. In Marina's defense, I don't think she realizes how much she feels, how much Penelope feels for Colin. Like I don't think she realizes it yet. But in this episode, anyway, I don't think she understands that that's why Penelope is like, oh, well, he's not a marrying age. Like, don't you know, he's not ready and all this stuff. Like, I don't think she's realizing that she really, you know, well, is falling for him or likes him or has interest in him. Right. And of course, the good old Eloise, she's still trying or still trying to figure out who Lady Whistledown is in this episode. She's hunkering down i guess she gets caught in one of the um servants rooms and i, I yeah. think that seems kind of funny because she's like what like the, the servant starts laughing at her because she's like what in god's name do you think how do you think we servants have enough time to be laid a lady whistle down with all the work that we have to do <laughs> well and then they of course they go to the fight uh daphne goes with anthony anthony uh, chaperones for her to go with the prince and Of course, she sees, you know, and I thought it was kind of weird or funny that she, like, when they got home after the fight, because, of course, she sees Simon, Simon sees her, she's kind of rooting on the opposite of Simon's opponent, or Simon's person that he's helping in the fight. She kind of roots for the opposite person, and, of course, Simon sees her with him, and when she gets home, they were taught, the mom is kind of upset that Anthony took her there, 
because she didn't feel like that mm-hmm. was a place where they should be. And Hyacinth, of course, asked, well, was the prince there? Or was um, the Duke of Hastings there? And they were both like, the Duke of Hastings. And, you know, Daphne's kind of like, well, if he was there, I didn't see him. I wouldn't know. And I'm like, mm-hmm. But even her, she's getting ready for the ball or that night, she puts the necklace on and her mom, you know, talks to her and just pretty much like tells her mom it's all fake. And she tries to pass it off, but she can't. She and her mom can tell. I mean, she she knew oh. from the get-go that they were yeah, and she like she now that Daphne's trying to pass it off that it was never anything and clearly it was and her mom even feels you know, she kind of is like at that point she's just going to go with Daphne and what Daphne wants or how Daphne wants to handle it well I thought that was kind of cool of her too because like she didn't get mad at her she didn't throw like a hissy fit that Daphne had lied and because I think like you said she knew she knew all along how Daphne really felt about him I think even mm-hmm. before Daphne knew, you know what I mean? Like, I think they saw it, but yeah. well, and of course at this point, I think the prince has asked Anthony for Daphne's hand in, in marriage well, or yeah, cause permission to propose. He's asked Anthony permission to propose. Anthony finally was like, do whatever you say. He's like, you say yes, I'll be there. If you say no, I'll be there. So Anthony has been very supportive. Yeah, he's really turned, I mean, he's he's really, and even the way he's handling Sienna, I feel like, which we'll find out at the end of this episode, or in this episode, how he kind of deals with her, but, yeah. I mean, I, I like, I think he's finally, he's being a big supportive brother, like he should have been from the get-go. Well, and then Lady Danbury, like we talked about, Lady Danbury and Simon have the talk about how... He's being, once again, he's being, you know, silly because what their relation, like what the queen's and the king's relationship has done for them to be able to rise up and rank and things like that. And how he's kind of, you know, he could have that if he chose. But, well, and then Lord Featherington, he's getting himself in trouble. We see, start seeing that here because he's, mm-hmm. we find out he's gambled away their fortune. He's gambled away the girls' dowries. And, that, like, with Mr. Finch courting Philippa or, you know, wanting to, to court her, he turns him away. And he doesn't mm-hmm. talk to her anymore because of that. And so that's... Right. Well, and then you've got Cressida Cause, cause back. Yeah. Yeah, because Philippa and that guy, I thought that that's a cute little bird, mm-hmm. corny relationship because they talk about yeah yeah and Cressida yeah she's there because she her she told Daphne you know I didn't think that we would kind of become rivals and to win somebody's affection because mm-hmm. Cressida really I think Cressida probably really really did the prince I mean yes of course the status is a bonus but I think she did care for the prince. It seemed I, like I think so too. Yeah, I I agree. I think it it did seem like. And to me, they're a better match. I mean, but but in all honesty, you almost you can't hate the prince. I mean, you want. I don't know. I found myself wanting Daphne with Simon. And I'm like, oh no, not this. You know, but you can't hate him because he's nice to her. I mean, he treats her well. I mean, he you well, know he course, tries. Uh, yeah, he does. And I think that throws Daphne into a tizzy because she won't even let, I don't even really think he got to propose technically. Like he started to and yeah. while they were dancing and then she went to another partner and then she's like, I need a moment. And so she, she went out to the garden and that's, you know, of course Simon attack of pops attack. up, uh, Simon pops up and, you know, he was like, what are you doing? And, you know, she was like, I thought you were gone or leaving. And he's like, well, I came to say goodbye. And she's like, what for? We're not friends. You made that perfectly clear the last time we talked. Like, and then of course she runs away because he won't leave. So she walks away from him, mm-hmm. and he follows her. And then, not good things happen. <laughs> well, for him in a way. <laughs> well, I guess for him it would be well, good. Yeah. And it's not good. But no, he ends up kissing her. And of course Anthony finds them, and he's like, "You've got to marry her." And he's like, "I can't." I won't. And he's like, you mean, and that, so of course they say they're going to have a duel because that's how gentlemen settle those things. Because he's basically defiled her now. Like he, Mm -hmm. if anybody knows or knew about what he had done, Daphne would be ruined. And so would all his sisters. So, and they just can't, you know, it wasn't like clothes came off or anything. They just had like a little kissing session in the garden. Uh, 
back then was like a big no-no. Well, but even yeah. at the beginning when Lady Whistledown is talking about scandal and how even like a touch here or even so much as a, a kiss even was a no-no, like that would ruin you. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's crazy even back, you know what I mean? Like that's, I don't know, that's crazy that that, that would... Well, because I'd say probably back then, if they thought if you were kissing, you've done much more. You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, well, well, get found out a thing um, back then. They used to practice this thing where before I don't know why they did, did it and get all the details on it, but they would like um, soon to be wedded couples, like people that were courting. They would at night. I don't know why they did this. It was, it was like a thing, but they would put them in the same bed. And put like a barrier up in between because they said that it helped. One reason why they did it, it was it helped, it helped intimacy of the relationship. And but there there was this barrier there so they couldn't touch each other. I can't believe like you could not kiss, but yet you were in the same bed as long as there was a barrier. I just like the thought process of what went on back then just is bizarre to me. Yeah, that was that was the thing. I did not know that. That's well, because they made such a big deal numerous times about chaperones and how yes. important it is not, like, especially for a woman, you didn't get caught without a chaperone. Like, you are not alone with a man without somebody being there with you. Like, yeah. so how in the world did that work? Did they did they have a oh, chaperone? That's then? Just, yeah, that's crazy. Well, and of course, they go get their seconds. Well, and then, obviously, Daphne rides out because... Right. Cressida has has seen them and she doesn't realize it till she's talking to her brother Colin and she's thinking back to when they came back into like the ball and Cressida was said you know she said something to her that was like oh Cressida saw us and of course Cressida is her rival like we said and she would talk and so she runs she rides out right into the middle of the duel and I think it's funny because I feel like Simon was more worried about her than what or reacted I don't know like he was more worried about her than I feel like Anthony was at first like I don't know not that Anthony and Benedict well, he, weren't worried he looked at her and he said tell me you're okay. like he's like, like he has she's okay well, yeah she falls off the horse I thought he I thought he shot her or the horse one or the other well then, <laughs> then she yells at him and she's like I'm quite okay you idiots <laughs> <laughs> he's like well you ran into a duel Right. Like, no one shot you. Right. Could have been dueling. Yeah. Yelling at him to not duel the, do the duel. And they talk about dueling back when Burbrook mm-hmm. was trying to get with Daphne. And, and Anthony, they briefly talked about it then. And Daphne's like, no, it's against the law. Plus, their mom was there. See, this situation, nobody knew. And so, Anthony able to do this duel and do it in secret. Right. Yeah. Well, and of course, they had the doctor there, and Anthony, I don't know what, you know, obviously, we don't know what he was thinking, but obviously, we saw from Simon, he never intended to shoot Anthony. His gun was up in the air the whole time. Benedict was asking, okay, doctor, where would he need to shoot him to just wound and not kill and things like that? Mm -hmm. So, and obviously, we see Anthony actually shoot because even Colin told Daphne, you know, they'll, they'll aim to the side, like they'll shoot wide if they're gentlemen. And, you know, she tells him, well, he's, Simon's too proud and Anthony's too mad. She tells him, she was like, you would really rather die than marry me. I'm that bad. And he's like, no, it's because I have more, or I have such high respect for you. And she, then they go, I mean, he says, you want a family. He's like, I can't give you a family. He was like, I'm, I don't want you, you know, in that life. And she kind of makes the decision there because he's like, just let Anthony do this let him finish this because he was totally prepared to die and like we talked about i really think that that was just another like i'll show you dad like i think type thing where he was he was quite prepared to die and rather than put her through a non-child marriage because he knew that she wanted children and he didn't i mean we'll find out why but yeah he i think that was a wake up call. And then she says, okay, we're getting married. And so that, you know, that's her way of saying, okay, I accept this to me anyway. She had to think of her sisters too, because not only would she be 
marred from it or, you know, scarred from it and, you know, her reputation ruined, but so would her sisters and mm-hmm. they would never, you know, no one would touch them either. So she had to think about that too. And she told Simon that she was like, you Which have to think Eloise of- would love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Eloise. Her and yeah, I felt bad because in this episode, her and Penelope get in a big fight because she's now come on a new way of finding out who Lady Whistledown is. And Penelope's struggling over the Colin and Lady Marina or Marina thing going on. And she kind of snaps at Eloise and says, I've got better things to worry about, or I've got things I, you know, adult things or, you know, important things to worry about than who Lady Whistledown is. And Eloise is like, what? She's like, like marriage. And, you know, Eloise is very hurt by it. Yeah. And well, so- I think Penelope probably wouldn't be interested in marriage. I think it's one of those things, like, if she can't have Colin, then she'll just be fine to not have anybody. Yeah. She, like, she really genuinely cares for Colin. If she can't have them, him, then that, you know, that'll be the end of it. So uh, Eloise is just so, <laughs> she's in her own world, not considering anybody. I mean, even even her and Daphne episode kind of get into it a little bit. That, mm-hmm. Well, no, episode one, Daphne uh, does that song on the piano. Well, and she kind of, yeah, because they wanted to finish it, and she finally finished it. And she's like, well, I hope you gave her a name, or gave it a name. And kind of, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I don't know why. I yeah. Their talent. But... Oh, yeah, we get to see Benedict more. He gets... Um, in- yeah, so we do. We oh, see we'll him. See- I don't want to say... I mean, would you consider it a friendship starting between the two oh, of yeah. them? Yeah, I think it, it does. I noticed from here on, it. I definitely had... I wanted to watch more, and you want to see where it goes. All right, friends. Uh, we want to thank you for watching and commenting and sharing. Please share these videos with your friends and family uh i am tiffany and this is my bfff shelly join us next time friends great episode